Hi, Mary here from Change is Always Possible with some more interesting bits of information from the weekly reports in Scotland. So all I'm doing is showing you um, is talking about the information that is coming from the deaths involving coronavirus in Scotland weekly reports, which you can find online on the National Records for Scotland website. And what is really interesting is that we've had below average deaths from causes other than COVID. And this first started being recorded in week 41, which was the beginning of October. What they said then was less deaths than average from respiratory causes. Um, and at that point, it was uh, 14 less deaths. And they went on to record this each week until we got to week 45. And in week 45, they actually started recording the um, less than average deaths from cancer, dementia, and respiratory causes. Um, and that has carried on um, to date. We have been, there have been less deaths from all those other causes Alzheimer's dementia, respiratory causes, um, cancer, what else have we got here? Circulatory, circulatory. those are the main ones that they're quoting. They're actually giving you the numbers less per, um, each week. So we've got an, a loss of death from other causes and an increase in death from COVID. Um, now, why is that? Um, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you can hypothesize though, can't you? So you could say, well, are they recording deaths that previously would have been recorded as cancer now get recorded as COVID deaths, for example? Or is it that because we had so many deaths earlier in 2020, that there are just less people now dying from these other causes because they died last year? I have no idea, but I think it's really interesting. And what's more is I looked, they give you the information of where the deaths are occurring. Are they occurring in hospitals, in home or in care homes? And what is absolutely fascinating, if you look at those deaths, then they've been in hospitals, been um, a big increase in the deaths from COVID, but there's been a massive decrease in deaths from other causes. And in actual fact, I added it up, there have been 4,283 less deaths in hospital from other causes like circulatory, cancer, respiratory, and Alzheimer's and dementia. And in actual fact, overall, we've only had 315 excess deaths in hospital which is fascinating to me because we've had so much information about how overloaded hospitals are and they're at capacity, and yet there have only been 315 uh, excess deaths in hospital. Where the excess deaths are way above average is at home, and it's really worth looking at that. It's vast, the excess deaths that have been occurring at home. And again, we can speculate about why that might be, I'm sure. Um, well, I'm not even going to speculate. You can think about it yourself. Why is that? Why have we got um, a massive decrease in deaths from other causes in the hospitals, but we've got a massive increase in deaths at home? And all of this information is available in plain sight on the, um, the weekly reports that are given out. But what's interesting is this information is not being given out um, by the government nor the mainstream media. What you hear is the total number of COVID deaths, but if you take away the number of the, the loss of deaths from other causes that seems to be happening, then you've got a whole different picture. Anyway, that's another of my sort of conundrums and queries about what is actually going on.